How are you? Uh, thanks. I'm really happy, of course, uh, with the victory finally in Altenburg. Uh, one of the challenging tracks I put together uh, runs, and I'm happy that uh, many changes also in equipment worked out. Maybe not as good. Uh, in other tracks, maybe not so good as I was expecting, but there is still way to go, still way to work. And uh, I would like to say thanks. Thanks a lot for the team. They did a great job. And uh, for the family, I'm coming home. Yeah, you got a chance to go home. Hey, talk to us about your sled. New sled you're using and uh, you starting to feel comfortable? Well, you know, I was 10 years using different sled and those uh, tiny small things. This is small thing sport. Uh, small things make sense and huge sense sometimes. And uh, sometimes I feel that I don't feel this sled enough good. So, but we have some time. I'm getting more and more used to it. So, because uh, I was not happy in China. So I did massive changes and we'll see. So you mentioned China. Talk to me about that track in China. What, how, give us a little description. What's your narrative of that track? At first, we don't have such track any other like this in the world. And second, uh, the most consistent guy, I guess, will win because this this track is not forgiving mistakes. This is there is not small hundreds. There is a tens and even maybe in the second. It's this is really really tough track and especially in these conditions. What will be in February? I, I, I'm I was meaning the weather conditions. I think will be really challenging.